Hey, what's happening guys? I got something for you today. Somebody asked me a while back about a CD4017, so I thought we could play with it a little bit today and take a look at what it can do. So, the CD4017, that's this 16-pin uh, IC here in the center, is a decade or a 10 output Johnson counter, or just call it a counter, and you can use it to do interesting things like make LED chasers or you can use it to divide frequencies. And I'll show you how that's done. First, let's just take a look at the circuit here and talk about how it works. This is our old friend, the 555 timer, and it's outputting a square wave at a frequency of about 3.6 to 3.8 hertz. It can be anything you want. Um, I just did this so that it is uh, visible to the naked eye. And then what we see happening here is this is output 0, output 1, output 2, output 3, and output 4. So we go boom, 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 boom. It counts to 5. Now I didn't hook up the last 5 outputs, so there's a pause for 5 blinks there. But if that bothers you, we can take care of that. And it's really simple to do. All we have to do is take pin 15, which is the reset pin, and hook it up to the next output pin. So now it counts to five, and then when it gets to six, it resets itself. Pretty neat, right? I thought so too. Let's take a look at the uh, data sheet for this so you can get a little bit better understanding of the IC. All right, let's take a look here at the data sheet, and what we're talking about today is the CD4017B, which has the 10 outputs, not the 4022, which has the 8 outputs. So if we come down here and we take a look at it, you can see it says it has the wide supply voltage range from 3 volts to 15 volts. I'm running it at 6 volts, so that's working pretty good. Now, it does have a very low power output, okay? It can drive one TTL chip, but it works fine for LEDs. No problem at all. There's some applications. But here we are. Let's take a look at this here, and maybe this will make more sense to everybody when we talk about this. So here is our, they call it VC, VDD here, VCC. This is basically our plus DC. And then if we go over to here, this is our ground. Now, we also need to ground reset to make this work. And clock enable. If you don't do that, the pin will not work. The chip will not work. Yeah, the pin will not work, neither will the entire chip. Then we have our clock output here, which we just send over to wherever we're talking about it. And now here's where things get somewhat interesting. These are most definitely not in order. So right here, we have output 0, which is on pin 3. Then output 1 which is on pin 2, output 2, which is on pin 4, output 3, which is on pin 7. You see what I'm talking about here? Then we got to go clear over here for our next output, then we come back to here. So when you're hooking this up, you definitely got to pay attention to what's going on or your lights will not be blinking in the order that you think in they're blinking so there's a block diagram of what's going on there you see we have some Q and not Q outputs some inverters and some AND gates now again here is our information we have our DC uh, voltage we have our supply voltage storage temperature yeah all the stuff that you want to know you can take a look at here we're not going to go over this particularly much you could pause your video and take a look if you want this or you could just Google 
CD4017 data sheet. I get a lot of people asking me, where can I find the data sheet? Google, man. You can Google the data sheet. Do I want to? No. Now, one problem with Googling the data sheet is you might run into these Chinese uh, data sheet centers that take you absolutely nowhere. Here's a little pro tip or trick or whatever you want to call it. If you're having trouble finding the data sheet, put the IC's designation into DigiKey or Mouser. Then look for the data sheet there. Boom. You'll find it. No problemo. Okay, we've had a look at the data sheet, so you got a pretty good understanding of what's going on. I'm not going to draw a schematic of this. If you, if you need to know how to wire this up yourself, look for 555A stable timer. Or just look at mine. The simplest way to hook up a 555 timer, that's what you see in this part of the circuit. Then again here, we have VCC, ground. We have our uh, clock enable grounded. Then we have our clock pin being fed from there. So it's pretty simple. Let's hook up the scope. And the first thing we're going to take a look at is the clock signal from the 555 timer. Assuming I plug this into the right hole. Yes, okay. Now we'll go over here and take a look at the scope. There we go. So what you're seeing here is the square wave where two volts peak to peak. This is about five volts here. Let's uh let's find out for sure. Lost channel two, we want channel one. That was a little off. 3.7 volts peak to peak and a frequency of 3.7 okay so now let's come back down to our circuit and we're using five of the inputs here so just about any one of these that I hook up to will allow us to divide our circuit by five do, 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 do. How about, doesn't matter, I'll just unplug this one, and we'll plug in here, then we'll come up here to the scope once again, there we go, I'm just going to stop it. And if you look here, we'll just start with this one. Doesn't okay. We'll come over here. Don't get mad. There's our clock pulse. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Boom! Another clock pulse. Well, another output. So this clock pulse coincides with this output. Then we have five more clock pulses. Another output. We have simply divided the frequency by five. It's that simple. you can do some math and make it output basically any, any, any frequency you want from a 10 output device divide by 10, divide by 2, you know a little bit of arithmetic there you can figure it out, it's not too hard Anyway, this is where you're going to see the CD4017 used a lot is as a frequency divider. I mean, sure, you can make pretty blink and light projects, but they aren't all that useful. They are useful for showing you things, but, you know, there's that. All right, so I hope I was able to answer your CD4017 questions. If I was, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment and share. Don't forget to subscribe big thanks to all the patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.